Hello and welcome to Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal Forbes. Merry Christmas to you if you did not get our Merry Christmas message. And also, Happy, Happy New Year. I hope everyone at home is COVID-free and that you tested yourself to make sure that the new is going to, we're going to have no coronavirus in the new year. We are spending our New Year's Eve with a couple of familiar faces that you guys absolutely love. So I hope that you guys are all commenting on our social media pages to let us know exactly who do you think we're spending the night with it is a brand new year 2021 i know you guys have gold i know you guys have debt i know you guys have new hopes and everything i don't know why i said gold uh some people have gold some people don't i don't know what's what's the whole thing with that listen i hope you guys also paid your january debt because we do know that it's a tough time for you guys it's a tough year so we want to make sure that you guys are safe when it comes to financial health and also normal normal health make sure you catch some of your favorite episodes on our youtube channel as well click the notification button and all of those things that the youtubers actually tell you to do other than that let's go see who we're chilling with Happy New Year to you. I hope you guys have your New Year's resolutions in order. And I hope that you guys are going to be safe. Stay safe. And also, don't go through any dramatic changes. Because, I mean, the last time I saw Noor, he didn't look this delicious ever. And now it's like, like, this is a delicious <laughs> vibe going on here. But we are spending New Year's Eve with you guys. What's the plans for New Year's, uh, the New Year 2021? What, what, is, what is in there? It's difficult to say, I mean, with, um, with the lockdown regulations and COVID uh, protocols that's yeah. in place, um, you really can't do anything for New Year's outside of your house. You're going to have to be, you know, stay inside, cook your flesh and whatever, and your, your frulatis and your cokes and your fantas, and hit my jaw and your yacht somewhere, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the plan. It's just to spend time with family. I mean, that, that is what the, the festive season is all about, yeah, you know? It just grew into your friends and people you haven't seen in over over months yeah. and you know whatever. So that would be like your your um, your place where everybody would convene yes. and say, "Hey, I haven't seen you in such a long time." But it really is about family. So so enjoy it at home. Enjoy it with your family. Spend it with 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 the ones you love. Close yeah. liquor. If you have a new baby in the house, liquor. Watch him walk. You know, take his first steps. That kind of thing braai afterwards because there's nothing better than seeing a baby start to walk and a braai afterward. It's just quiet, man. 100%. Now, I know a lot of people at home is probably raising eyebrows and thinking, are you sure this is Noor? Or is this Noora or what is happening? You are also in the Cinderella and Frikadella and you're acting now, you're doing the things. And how does it feel to be back in such an environment? Because when you're singing, it's, it's some, somewhat natural, you know, it just comes. But now it's about keeping that straight face and, and, and just doing it. And I would say something new as well. So how is that going? Let me tell you this, there is not a straight face that I have on this show because my character is the dumbest person in the universe, Della. She is such an airhead. She, thinks she knows everything, she has all these ideas, but actually, it's just, there's nothing, it's empty. <laughs> um, but um, I have to say that it's it's quite new for me to have such a big role um, in a play or in a musical, yeah. but this is a pantomime. Um, the last, well, the last two roles I had, the one was in District 6, yeah. was very small. I probably just said, away, <laughs> as a sexy boy. And, um, but I had a song, but that was, that's one thing. And then I played in Scrooge, yes. as young Scrooge with uh, Mark Lottering. And that was, uh, wasn't that big, it was like, mm, yeah, it was like a minute. <laughs> but now I'm on stage all the time. I, I'm literally, we literally side by side with Cinderella, um, who is Nicolene Sal. And it's just amazing, man. It's liquor to work with such such talented people and, and, and seasoned people and professional people yeah. like Alistair Isabel and our producer, Imo, um, Imo Adams over there. Um, so, yeah, it's just been fun and it's liquor. And, um, what more can I say, man? It's what I love to do. I'm, it's, it's like I'm at home, you know. It's my home away from home. <laughs> Yes, people, we're sitting now with the one and only Mark May Famous Season 2 winner, Nicolene Sal. Spending New Year's actually with her. Happy New Year's to you. I hope you guys have all your New Year's Eve resolutions in there. Nicolene, what is your plan for 2021? Um, my plan for 2021 is um, basically to do everything new. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit of a and hopefully to be able to be on the stage and have fun and still do Cinderella and Frikadella, you know, 
and um, single vibes, a new single vibe. Does that mean you not gonna be single or you're looking no. to get? Sung, I like a. Answer. Oh, sorry, guys. Sung, ni single, ni daddy, on stay by daddy, on sung no, on skabra kon stay ba. I love that. So the only guys we're going to see you with is when there's a duet for a song and yeah. things like that. I love it. Okay. Then we want to know from you, you all, you mentioned Cinderella and Frikadella, you know, something new because initially you were like, equal sing, mommy. That is what equal do. But now you're acting and you're doing these new things. I mean, what type of um, feelings went through you when you were like, oh my word, I'm actually going to be in a play as a main character yeah. and also being on stage playing for the first time? Well... Uh, I was nervous at first, but it, it, it was exciting being able to perform with my mentors and with my friends. Yeah. It's amazing. And being a main character, the nerves us there, but it's a blessing, honestly. Yeah. Welcome back from the ad break. You are still watching Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal Forbes. Hashtag Vityo is he. We do want to know from you guys on our social media pages, what are you thinking of our New Year's episode? Also, what are your plans at home for New Year's Eve? Are you going to buy a new car, get your new job, even get your new blesser? Some people get their new blessers for the New Year as well. So we do want to know what you guys are doing on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as on Twitter. But right about now, I'm super, super excited because we're going to be sitting with one of the darkest South Africans ever to exist. Also the funniest. Also his hair is very high. Emo Adams. That's 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 who we're going to sit with. So I hope you guys at home is ready for that. Get your cup of coffee, brace yourselves and put also on your seatbelt hashtag Vickle if you do want to. Remember, you can catch today's episode also on YouTube or Tuesday morning between 8 and 8.30 a.m. Let's go sit with the guy himself. Tool dark in Afrikaans apparently. All right, people, we are sitting with the one and only tall, dark, and Afrikaps, Emo Adams. We will I hope you're going to edit the applause in. Who no, is it? The budget for that? That is no return. That's the only thing. Kegi, bra, it's New Year's Eve. It's the 1st of Jan. It's 2020. What is the plans for the one and only Emo Adams? Um, as you know, I've been taking a backseat to being on stage. So for Emo, um, I do what I love to do, which is um, promoting new talent, seeking new talent, putting uh, content together and producing the shows. And I'm a bit of joy because I think 2020 was a bit hardcore for Amal. Um, and to all of a sudden, there was light at the end of the tunnel, which was 2021. And of course, um, coffee and comedy. Hey, look at that, man. Look at that. And Daiwa is a sponsored posse. Daiwa <laughs> <Daiva. laughs> sponsored. 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 <laughs> it wasn't sponsored at all. But the people at home, they actually don't know the emo Adams that we get to know and see and love. This guy's super hardworking, super talented. And I mean, off stage, you do so many things. And I mean, we're just coming from a wonderful, wonderful couple of weeks of performances for the Cinderella and Fricadella. Producing now as well. Like, what is it that you can't do? Uh, paint. <laughs> So when they look at art, the whole time there's nothing on the canvas that they have to do, it's like, oh, it's so beautiful, it moves me. And I'm like, no, you need to move the picture. And it's like, it's like, the picture is like, it's like, but I mean, I want to talk about that. There is, I mean, I want to challenge myself a lot more. And yeah. so um, I think everything that I've been achieving so far, very, very blessing. But as hard as that is, there to, to, there's no winning recipe to, yeah. to, to success. I mean, every day there's no winning that. Now, is there any hidden talents that you have? Because there's so much things we've seen emo yes. do over yes. the years. Yes. Because my hidden talent, and I see, you know, it's a word with a break. I mean, I don't really want to uh, boast about it, but I can see the next color uh, person that I saw that I can come naturally, drug rack, any as foul rack. I mean, mind blown. I was going to ask you to show us, but uh, it's so bad to as I became by swim. <laughs> Because it's, it's kind of be a swim. Okay, okay, love that. New year, new things, new beginnings. We're just coming from a whole COVID situation where we saw theaters being closed as well. Um, w what is the vision like um, looking at, 
if COVID comes back, if there's a third wave and a fourth wave and a fifth wave, do you think that as the entertainment industry in South Africa, there's something we can do to be more welcoming to this so that we can be COVID friendly at the shows and things like that? As a great question, thank Nee, I think first and foremost, I think people need to be disciplined in, in whatever is going on, not just here, but also in the world. In us, leer van die wereld up. They are the example. So we, uh, for ons om te recover, moet eindelijk much, much funniger gebeur. Um, COVID for me was a blessing and it was a burden because from a creative point of view, it think ek, sikere creatives, um, it excel and where others again fell. So you could see who was the real entertainers or the hungry people yes. within this COVID time. Um, I've excelled, let's say, um, perseverance um, because what was humbling about COVID, um, we started thinking outside of the box. Yes. It was ways to create how we can manage and how we can be busy. I was not so much by in my life on Zoom as I was in COVID. That is, I own shares all that. I think I own shares all that. One thing you have shares in, or one thing that we should share with the viewers, is May Brew Coffee. Um, you ha you, how did this idea come up? One thing people don't know is that Emo loves his coffee. Yeah. He drinks a clone coffee. Eh? Yeah. It's a mooi kijk, as we're in Zoom, sa han, it's, it's kit net no, no, I don't know if, it, if it's on tick or it's no, the coffee. Yeah. I mean, kijk die move. <laughs> Solid, eh? Kom, nou nie van die gym af. Check die move. <laughs> Solid. Tell us about the coffee. Um, so the love for coffee was always there, I think, in so with every artist is now all the merchandise, come with me a sweater, come with me a cap, come with me a vibe, whatever that can be. So I said to my wife, I, I just want to come up with something that I actually love. And she's like, yeah, like with coffee. And I was like, with coffee? Oh my head, maybe we... And so this process took us like over a year. When we were going to to and then clean your palate and you wait a few days until you eventually find what is the type of coffee or, and the style or the ingredients mixed together that you, your blend that yes. you like. Um, and that's how it's come by the coffee and that's how And now we're in three different locations and uh, we're wow. going national uh, 2021. Look at that, going national, brah. One thing that people don't often see you so is in a sweater. No, 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 it's got nothing. Was it a quiet look? Say to me, no one has to stop. You have to. One thing people don't see you. I was like, yo, my brother. No, bro. You, you must let me life. finish the okay, sentence. Okay, sorry, sorry. People don't see you in a sweater and a jeans as often as they would love to, to see, because I'm one of the people who I'd love to see role models or famous people being themselves. And yeah. here, here you are sitting in a t-shirt and a jeans, and this is the type of things that coffee and comedy want to show, because emo slap in a suit. That is wahr. But that is wahr. I slap in a doen. suit. True story, I really do. <laughs> what, is, what is it that we can look forward to um, that Emo still wants to achieve new heights? Because, I mean, producing on all of those things, what is something that you really like? Kijk iets, hy wens nie, daar is die ding wat kan gebeur vir jou. As is so veel wens nie, but what, I've, what we've done so far, um, next year we are producing um, eight Netflix specials that's, that's up and coming. Um, and that's from the media uh, company point of view. And um, as for Emo, as I say, I want I just want to work with people that I love working with and see them excel. And then that's that's joy for me. I I, I love doing that. Ma, the why my heart is just so that you do know is, I actually want to produce a movie. Okay. That that is something I'm maybe gonna pursue in 2021. Um, ik weet die stereotype is van ja, als een kalt movie is, dan gaan we als een gangster in en als een vibe. En ik weet dat er veel meer accolades that we have achieved. So I'm gonna try and push that narrative and, and see. But en ik praat van stories wat ook mensen kan aan relate. Um, uh, like, ik voel altijd, hoe komen ze nooit te vrouw wat ze moest is voor wat die wereld zei? <laughs> Daar moet een vrouw is wat ze moest is voor wat net die wereld zei. Ik kon Bruce Willis en dan gooi ze met ze moest is. Just say. Tibra and say ideas is, is, is definitely crazy, but it isn't exclusive because I'm sure you didn't tell anyone that yet. No, so no, it's, it's, we actually uh, we actually signed that deal today. Okay. So um, the, the is exclusive. Ma, um, most of, and there's an international artist that we're working with currently, but I can't no I will it. But we can it. I can it. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to everyone. We're gonna take a quick air break. We'll be right back. You too loud.
Yes, people, we are now sitting with the one and only Adrian Maisy. Um, and we just want to catch up with him because last time we were actually at the Starbucks in Canal Oak, And this time we are actually at the v waterfront. And I'm super excited because um, from what I can see, the people in Cape Town, Cape Town, uh, the Cape Town, Cape Townian, the people in Cape Town, um, they received Starbucks coffee well. And even I enjoyed it as well. But I want to know from you, um, what was the reception like since opening way back um, with the Canal Oak one? and oh, going across the Salem Bosch, Kansas, etc. Uh, it's exceeded expectations. It's been incredible. The feedback has been exceptionally positive. There will always be the outlier, the complainer. There's everyone has that in life, and they tend to be key, keyboard warriors. But uh, no, we, we're exceeding expectations. We've beat budget. Um, and this week, we're going to roll through. We've got v &A, we've got uh, Camps Bay, we've got Stellenbosch. Bosch. I think the trend's going to continue. Cape Townians, we, I love it here. I would live here in a heartbeat. Really? And, and now with six Starbucks, I think I could definitely live here. Wow, OK. Since you say you live here in a heartbeat, let's test your Cape Townian slang. OK, what is your favorite Cape Townian slang word? Uh, uh, khatip. <laughs> he said you know, that's someone's name. Yeah, that's, I know, but you know what? They call me that on the cycling team. My, my, my nickname is Khatip. Khatipi, actually. Serious. Is that appropriate? It's probably not appropriate. No, it is. Okay, but I think it's funny. It is. Yeah, I'm just. It's an endearing way of saying, you know. I'm just confused because Adrian and Khatip is like miles I, apart. I know, but the, the oak, so there's a, there's a Jewish oak on the cycling team that calls me Khatipi. He's from, he's from Cape Town. Okay. Bellevue, of all places. He's the only. Um, Jewish South African that speaks Afrikaans I've met. Fluent. I love it. Uh, so we gossip all day long. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. What does the phrase away mean? Oh, uh, excuse me? Away. Uh, what does the phrase away? What does it mean? Aware. Um, awareness? No. Away is more of a greeting, like away, away, away. It can also be like. So apparently, I'm not very Capetonian. No. All South African, because I mean, all South Africans know what away means. Oh, that's so well. Then I've been gone for too long. Eh? Okay. Yeah, but listen, to be fair, I'm from Pretoria. And we don't know much. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where the, the Pretorian people is going to like that, but we're going to give you another word and see maybe there's still some South African in you. In an endearing way. Okay, 100%. What does the word Mebru mean? Mebru? Oh, my brother. Okay. My, okay. my but. Okay. And if I'm from like four ways, it's but. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to get, we're going to go with another one, okay? What does the word Hosh mean? Hosh? No, I don't know that one. Take a guess. Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> close, close, close. All right, then keeping it again with Starbucks. Um, so you guys are obviously rolling out, you know, across the Western Cape and things like that. And I did ask you what more can we expect um, from Starbucks, but what more can we expect in 2021? New Year, um, hopefully COVID is leaving us completely. And once COVID is gone, what is, what is the vibe actually going to be like? Because I'm sure you guys are limited to a number of people in the stores and things like that. No, no that's, a, that's a serious question. But we're actually going to uh, accelerate the digital aspect of the business. So COVID has accelerated digital globally. You, you've really seen it pick up, in, especially in SA. Um, our, you'll see our menu board switch over to digital. You'll see our mobile order and pay pick up. Um, you know, our delivery service will start to kick in. It, it'll be key to our neighborhood stores, the Camps Bay location, whether we go into Constantia, into Stellenbosch, where people can mobile order and pay. I use mobile order and pay exclusively. You will not catch me in a line. Um, and not because I'm special, it's just I don't have any patience. And I like it when I place my order, I'll stand outside, wait in my car, and the order's ready, I'll shop and take it. The line's shorter, it's great for the barista, it's great for the customer because they, they get what they actually ordered rather than, hey, what did you say under your mask? Yes. Um, it's a good aspect, yeah. I, I actually love this. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Adrian was just caught off camera putting some eye drops in his eyes. And we know that you don't get much sleep yeah. um, because of the rollouts, you know, with the stores and that. But um, do you drink a lot of coffee? Coffee to keep it. What, what, what do you what do you do to keep you awake? It is a lot of coffee, uh, and, and it's the opposite of that to get me to go to sleep. But uh, I mean, my morning starts honestly. It starts around 3 a.m. every day, and that's not. It's because I have to be on the South African time zone. So I'm in LA right now. It's 10 hour time zone difference. And the downside to my team is then they have to go until 2 o'clock in the morning, and they legitimately do it. It's it's. Um, I have a very special group around me, and I think we're going to be successful over time. And hopefully we can slow down because it's, it's, this is not how life should be. We shouldn't be working this hard. But at this point in time, we're building as a startup. 
um, it's required. We're not a corporate business. This is not, well, it won't be a corporate business ever. We wouldn't want that, but it's a few individuals, entrepreneurial, and we're owning it, and we're working as hard as we can to be successful and bring it to South Africa and be successful in South Africa. There's, there's a lot of naysayers. You know, we're a big brand. You're going to be like, oh, um, it's not to prove them wrong, but it's almost to prove ourselves right. Yeah. I love that, man. Adrian, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting to us and also inviting us. We love coming here. So hopefully you will see more of us and we'll see more of Adrian. Um, maybe a partnership, you know, with the show. I don't know. I don't know. We can see uh, what happens off air, but we're going to take a quick break. When we do come back, we have more for you. Okay, so you guys heard of the three musketeers. Well, this is the four musketeers, and they're from the southern suburbs. And these beautiful ladies are going to tell me more about this Starbucks experience. And they're saying that this has basically been one of the first outings after COVID. So apparently it's hashtags, mom's gone wild. I don't know how to feel about that. You can hear. I don't know if there's coffee getting to them or what. Um, so I want to know from you guys, you guys tasted the coffee. How does the coffee taste? You know, and we have our own coffee already. We have, I'm not going to mention, you know, the, the coffee's names, you know, but they were the big muffin and the, we have those places. But now, you know, Starbucks coffee is here and, you know, it's been basically a bucket list for us to tick off and say when I go overseas I'm gonna have Starbucks coffee but now you guys are here you guys have tasted what are your thoughts who's going well, um, I'm still having my first frappuccino it's totally delicious um, yeah I can't wait to try the coffee we've been waiting for this for a while I mean like going to Joburg <laughs> to get your coffee and now finally it's here in Cape Town so we've been waiting for this for like the longest time I just love that it um, accommodates all my non-dairy needs. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because too much coffee, you know, you can smell later. How's your experience been with uh, Starbucks coffee thus far? It's been amazing. I'm a huge cappuccino lover, so obviously I went for that first. Um, at least I don't have to go overseas to have a cappuccino from Starbucks. <laughs> That's the thing, so you don't have to go overseas, Joburg, whatever the case may be. You guys are basically part of the first few people in Cape Town to taste Starbucks coffee, to experience the vibe and everything. What is the vibe like? What would you tell the people at home why they must go to the nearest Starbucks? Why they must leave, I'm not going to say the name, but at, at rhyme with me coffee, why they must leave that alone? Tell us. I think it's a, it's a very merry um, atmosphere and a, a perfect kick off the festive season. Yeah. I agree with that and also um, mommies, we are all mommies, so mommies love coffee and coffee dates, so Starbucks will be seeing us all the time. Okay. Yeah, we usually need a cup of coffee to start the day, so I think, and Starbucks, the brand really just speaks for itself, so I mean, it's not something you want to miss. <laughs> That's a brand that speaks for itself. Last question I want to know from you guys. With Starbucks coffee, right? I am used to going up, ordering a certain cappuccino. I love myself a vanilla latte. I used to call it a latte because, you know, you learn as you go. You learn as you go. <laughs> but I want to know, with over 80,000 different cups of coffee flavors that Starbucks is offering, how easy or difficult do you guys think it's going to be to find that perfect one? Because, I mean, you can only have so much cof coffee a day. So how do, how do you guys think you're going to go about finding your perfect one? Because today you think you found the one that, that suits your needs, but tomorrow then she comes with a different one. So what, what do you guys think the process is going to be like? <laughs> we said we're coming every weekend to test out a different coffee. <laughs> They say coffee a day, keep the doctor away. Is that the right quote? Yeah, it is. Now it is. Thank you guys so much, man. It's been fun. Mom's gone wild. 